Hey, you're watching Alexa, and in today's video, I'm going to be decluttering my lip products in my collection. So that includes lip liners, lip glosses, lipsticks, and liquid lipsticks, and all that. There is so much stuff in this video that I'm actually really uncomfortable. I was really uncomfortable while editing this and while filming this, and this is one of the categories that scared me the most to do because lip products expire quickly and are difficult to use up in comparison to powder products. Someone in one of my previous videos commented asking to know how I will be disposing of the products that I've decluttered. And just to let you know that while I declutter, I actually categorize things in a couple of different categories. I have the new and unused items that are much more easier to gift and donate. I have the items that are softly used or kind of, you know, a bit used but I'm actually looking to pass on because I don't need to keep them. They're not items I use anymore. And then the most difficult category for me is actually the past date category of makeup items that are likely expired and that I shouldn't use and that I cannot give to other people. I haven't found a way to dispose of these items. I still actually have these items in my apartment. I haven't disposed of anything. I'm looking for an ethical slash sustainable way to dispose of them. I've heard of this company called TerraCycle and I'm looking into that, but I don't know yet. And I'm holding on to these things until I figure it out. If you guys have any tips or advice or any recommendations, please let me know in the comments down below. It would help me so much and it'll also help others because I do want to do a follow-up post or video where I talk about what actually is going to happen to the things that I declutter. So without further ado, I'm going to go into today's video and I hope you enjoy. All right, so here we have my 93 drugstore lipstick collection. Things from L'Oreal sales, things from when I started YouTube. I previously decluttered this in a series of videos where I did lip swatches. I will link that somewhere in this video and also in the description box if you're curious. But for now, I'm going to remove anything that was more than two years old. I'm going to preface this by saying I'm going to have a harder time doing that in the higher end section. So you'll have to forgive me if I don't declutter as many higher end. I realize that I have more of an emotional attachment to things when I've spent more or when the packaging is nicer and I know it's not as easily replaced. So I'm going to remove these lipsticks here because these are all in the old packaging. Continuing, I'm also going to remove these Kate Moss ones. I know they're still in store, but I know that I got these quite a long time ago. This is a newer one, and these ones are from 2017, so I'm going to keep. Next, I'm going to remove these quite old CoverGirl ones. I already did a video with the Caddy Cat Matte lipstick range from CoverGirl, and I doubt that I'm going to be using them in future videos. I just don't see the point. They were not as opaque as I would have liked them to be. I don't think these ones are as old, so I'll keep them for now. The Wet n Wild Mega Last, I have made a few swatch videos with these, and I've swatched all of these in videos. They are very old and I can't even find them in Canada anymore, so I believe I will be letting those go, unfortunately. And as well, these NYX lipsticks are from way back when I started YouTube. This Avon lipstick and these Gosh lipsticks I received a long while back. But these three Maybelline lipsticks, these are very old. They are in the very old packaging. I'm going to let this go. This one from Avon. There is the Nude by Nature lipstick, which is actually quite new. I will be giving this to someone. I just don't like the scent. It smells like crayon, really. There are just other lip products that I enjoy from them much better. All right, guys, my camera cut off, but I'm letting go of these Revlon ones. I know they're quite old. And my L'Oreal ones here, I'm going to let go of them as well. They're mostly purchased at the L'Oreal sale and this one up here is an essence lipstick that I've never used so that's gonna get gifted. Okay, all that's left now is Maybelline. After having looked online these are the ones I'm going to keep and these are the ones I'm going to let go. The Vivids are quite old and also this color in the Lilac Rebel Bloom range is a bit old but also I just I don't like the way that color would look on me anyhow. And then these are not too bad. 
They're maybe on the edge, but I feel like these are colors I could actually reach for. All right, guys, my old stash is down to 24 lipsticks from 93. Here we have my high-end slash mid-range lipsticks and these are um, including these samples from Tarte. There are 37 here. Remove this one from YSL because it's just simply not a color that really, I don't know, I've tried to make it work but I just, I'm not really sold on it. This one is unused from V Cosmetic and just because of that, by default, I'm going to remove it. And then I have an unused one from the Estee Edit when I went to the preview. This brand no longer exists. I'm actually going to remove one from Lancome because this is something I bought at a L'Oreal sale. This one from the Rose Gold Aurora collection from Elizabeth Arden. It's from 2012. Oh, this is quite used up. Like, I might as well let that go too. I don't think I want to get rid of anything else to be really honest with you, so I'm gonna leave it at that. So out of 37, I've only gotten rid of six, so that's 31 left. Instead of having them rolling around the table, I've decided to place my products like this. I have lip crayon products, some products I already know I'll be removing. Then I have liquid lipsticks. And then I have lip glosses. I don't have these organized by high end because I actually have a lot less high end in these categories. This is 157 products, guys. So in this bag right here, I'm just gonna take out things I've never used before. These are all quite old and or don't work very well anymore. Color Rush by Rimmel, these are discontinued. And then I have all of the Revlon bombs and I have some new ones in my PR stash so I think I'm going to declutter all of these. I have these sexy mother pucker crayons and these are a little bit on the older side. This one is very well used. I think I can say goodbye to this one. This one is not used as much and I'm gonna see if I can pass that on to mom. This is starting to look moldy already. This is from Annabelle. I did a video about this several years ago and same for these ones from Elizabeth Arden, and I just don't like the sharpening format. This Burt's Bees one I haven't really used. I'll put that on the side. I do not like the scent of the Clinique Chubby Stick, so I'm finally just going to give up on these. Uh, Poopa is new, Poopa is new, and then I have these couple from Stila, which are on the older side, but they're glow in the dark. I kind of want to give them a shot, so. And then this one here from Topshop, I'll just keep for now. All right, I am going to do something very naughty and I'm going to say I'm probably going to keep all of the NYX ones for now. I've done swatch videos with them before and I like doing looks with them, but I think I'll declutter them as I go, as I go back into my stash. If I pull out anything and try it on and not like it, then I'll get rid of it. But I will say I'm going to remove these ones from Rimmel because they're old and I don't think that the apocalypse exists anymore. I also have some very old ones from Lancome that I used to buy at the L'Oreal sales and honestly, I just, I don't use these. I've got these lip paint things. I don't really use these, but I don't know. I'm just gonna keep them for now. I, They're not bad yet, that's the other thing and I've used them, so yeah. Got some liquid lipsticks that are on the newer side because they've been gifted to me in the PR rather recently. I've got things like Lise Watier here, and I quite like those, so this is where I'm not doing great. All right, in here, this is rather new. I'm gonna just toss on the side. Burt's Bees, I'm not a huge fan of these um, lip glosses. This one is rather new. I love these. I think I have two more somewhere and unfortunately they should be here, but they're not. I'm going to let go of these ones, these um, Revlon color stains. They were released quite a long time ago. This lip gloss from Elizabeth Arden. I don't really like the glitter in it. I should put this in my project pan actually. Um, yeah, they're a little bit on the older side, but I like them and they don't smell bad. Oh guys. Same with these Lancome Juicy things. I, I almost think I should just give a couple 
to friends, but then I've used them. See, that's like the issue with that. Charlotte Tilbury, I'm keeping this. Um, these Gosh Lip Kisses, these are so old and I find the packaging not great, but the lacquers are really nice. I did a video about these quite a long while back. I'm definitely removing these Maybelline things. You remember the elixirs? Everyone was buying these. They had that weird taste and smell. Yeah, these can go. And then um, I think everything else I'm keeping, to be honest. After I subtracted everything out, I've actually removed 62 products out of 157. Not the best, but it has still dwindled down. All right, guys, in here, I actually found a lip product, unfortunately. It's new, so again, I'm keeping, but here I have 28 lip liners and I actually recently went through these but I think I could dwindle this down further So really I've only decluttered five But hey, I'm down to 23. That's a little bit better, right? Here is the updated lipstick drawer situation I still have some space and I intend to leave that blank in the back I don't want to add anything else Unless there's anything in my PR stash that I should be adding back in, it should all fit in here in terms of lipstick-ish products and lip liners. As you can see, all 23 are here and here are a few that I want to use up. I've actually laid down all of my liquid lipsticks here. Ferrero Rocher case here, but then the rest of them are from HomeSense. So I've got that and lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, and other lip gloss-esque products here. Leaving the back empty, I don't want to fill this up to the brim. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, if you have any tips, recommendations, or organizations that you want to let me know about, leave it in the comments down below. I would love that so much and it would be really helpful. I'm really enjoying doing other content other than just beauty. So if you would like to see more of that, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're always notified of when I post a new video. And if you'd like, check one of the new videos which is posted down below along with my Instagram, which is Alexa Likes. Thank you, bye.